in this summer of 1964, the Civil Rights Bill is the law of the land. On Wednesday, that historic bill will resurface on display at the National Archives. Visitors can view President Lyndon B. Johnson's signature to the 1964 Civil Rights Act, nearly marking the 50th anniversary of the signing. A turning point in history. The law outlawed discrimination and put an end to segregation, following years of work by civil rights activists. Another museum opening this month in Atlanta hopes to preserve that history. So the Center for Civil and Human Rights is really aimed to bring the legacy of the civil rights movement to people who know nothing about it, and also to connect that legacy with contemporary human rights. Historic moments like the March on Washington come alive at the museum. Visitors can hear speeches by leaders of the civil rights movement and recall its worst moments. Martin Luther King was shot and was killed tonight. Original news clips from 1968 are part of the exhibits, with Walter Cronkite announcing the assassination of civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. Has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. No longer will the civil rights movement be like, you know, just a part of this history over here in the corner somewhere carved out with a certain set group of people. But these people were very much a part of the American story. The museum also ties together the demonstrations of the 1960s with current movements. Give them a chance to see what's happening today around the world when it comes to issues of people struggling for freedom, people working for their own rights. The 42,000 square foot museum opens on Monday. Padmanandarama, The Associated Press.